Welcome back to our WandaVision episode 7, a recap, review, Easter eggs, references, spoiler review, spoiler time, hot stuff. Hot spoilery thumbnail. That's right. If, you, if you're here because you've seen a hot spoilery thumbnail and you're like, these these guys spoil it, I'm going to give them a piece of my mind. Leave a like first. Yeah, please. And then leave and then some. Watch the video. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Till it to its completion. Yep. Yeah. Because yeah. maybe somewhere in here there'll be an apology. Yeah, exactly. To you personally. That's for right. The spoilerific thumbnail. I've seen your message. I hear you. And we've done Just some quick re-editing. Yeah, it's going to be there. It's going to be there. It's and then, nice. yeah, good times. Yeah. Good times. Great times. I'm not amused. So now, we'll spe- speaking of great times, mm-hmm. this is a modern family inspired, well, office-esque, I guess. But yes. it's, it's more modern family than it is the office. Yeah. Styled episode. Who are they talking to? I've always thought that about modern family. Modern family. I've never been a fan because they've just taken what's good about like The Office and other shows who do it well, like Parks and Rec, and it's just filming a family for fifteen years. However, however long that show's (laughs) been going for. Well, I would say give it a chance, but actually, that's one of the reasons why I didn't give Modern Family a chance initially. Because I'm like, well, obviously, with The Office, they're filming for some sort of documentary, which we've never seen. FYI. Well, they they talk about it. It's revealed at the end. They they release it. Yeah, I've never seen The Office. Uh, but no, I'm, I'm kidding. I've seen The Office. <laughs> but it, the, I, I guess with modern Wait, families, you just say you've seen The Office so people don't bug you about seeing The Office. John Krasinski's in this episode. Hey! It's the big reveal <laughs> in, in WandaVision. Yeah, some people are a bit upset about that. But sorry, you were saying. That's all I have. But like Modern <laughs> Family, they just went, well, if people in sitcoms talk to someone, <laughs> I guess we're doing that. Yeah. And this kind of, uh, well, it kind of looks directly at that, doesn't it? The way that somebody would look directly to a camera, say. Oh. They're Jim in it. Or John Krasinski. Or Tim in it, mm. as, they, as it used to be called in the early 2000s. That's exactly. Before John Krasinski stole that. Wow. He stole it. That's right. <sighs> On his way to the MCU to this episode. <laughs> He's done it. <laughs> So, Could yeah. that be the thumbnail? Could it be John Krasinski <laughs> as Mr. Fantastic? Should I Maybe do Maybe just it? in a lab coat or something? I, I think should, that would work, yeah. I should totally do yeah. it. Kind and, of... and him and Monica Rambo are high-fiving. Yeah, that's absolutely. That's probably too much, but... No, I think that's perfect. Okay, terrific. So, so it starts with uh, Wanda kind of bugging out her powers and misfiring. Do you think that was her? Or do you think it's somebody manipulating her mind to have things oh, kind of break down? Well, that's a good question because mm. in this without... We'll, I'm sure we'll get to it. The villain... Yeah. The villain has been revealed yes. as, as it one were. Of, there but might I be think, more. yeah, I think there's there's other shoes to drop. Oh, really? Yeah. Several more shoes. Several shoes? Mm-hmm. But there's only two episodes. It's a horse. <laughs> three so, more shoes. So Okay, so it's a horse and mm-hmm. then another three legged horse because that would be seven shoes. That's exactly right, yes. Perfect. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, so while while her world is kind of bugging out, she's trying to make sense of it. I think she is being manipulated and her powers are kind of failing uh, okay, because right. clearly she doesn't have a handle on whatever Agatha Harkness. Which is, we now know who it is. John Krasinski. John Krasinski's here. What's he doing? <laughs> but uh, but so she she wasn't aware that, you know, she has been, she was being manipulated. Yeah, right, right, yeah. right. Mm-hmm. But, uh, but before we get into, like, the, the villain and, and that big reveal towards the end, we should talk about the Vision's uh, little little d- journey with Darcy on the outside of yeah, town. Yeah, fun little time. Fun little they've, time. They've never interacted before on any level, right? I don't believe so. But I did enjoy the little catch-up that he had, the little but, I mean, recap. She's, she's, she's okay with talking to big weirdos and capes, I guess. So. Yeah, absolutely. So she's fine with it. She's just like, yeah, you died, but then you were brought back, and then you died again. But your mm-hmm. love is real. Don't worry about it. I've been watching your show. It's pretty good. Mm-hmm. Uh, so, yeah, so that, that, was, that was interesting. I liked the, him getting, like, just a crash course in his own history and just being like, huh, sounds terrible. It is weird. <laughs> yeah, weird Why and terrible. Why am I this colour? Yeah. Was Ultron this purpley red colour? I think no. he must have. Well, he came out kind of reddish. We didn't really say. So I th- I'm, I'm assuming when he came out of the, the sarcophagus, whatever, mm-hmm. that that was what Ultron was kind of going for. Sure, yeah. Yeah, weird choice <laughs> for a villainous robot, man. Red goes faster. Red does go Towards faster. Towards evil. Yeah. <laughs> and genocide? What was he doing? Dropping a... a Asteroid. A, a, He's dropping a, a city on the planet. city on a planet, yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's it. But uh, Collings made this note, actually. Oh. He just sent this over. Who edits uh, all these who videos? Who edits these, by the way. If you're wondering how is it possible that somebody does this... Ask Collins, ask him. We don't know. Yeah. We, d- we just send it to him and he sends it back. We do minimal effort. Reality altering powers. But intention, it's entirely John possible. Krasinski. John Krasinski. Here he's in this episode. So uh, he wrote, uh, we thought all the diversions for Vision trying to get back home were being caused by Wanda, but obviously now we knew it was Agnes. So to kind of keep them apart. Yeah. I didn't, I didn't mm. consider that. Is that mm. something that you considered watching this episode? Yes. No, you did not. <laughs> Just like you've never seen The Office. You didn't ask me first. You should have been like, "What do you? who do you think was behind those diversions? I should, should not. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. How about you that one? I would have said John Krasinski. I'll stop doing this. <laughs> we'll do it one more. I'll save, save one more. We'll do one end. more, yeah. 
So, but while that's all going on, uh, Monica and Jimmy, they're having their own little adventure <laughs> to try and get back in the, uh, the hex, yeah. which, I, which I never realised until now is also shaped like a hex. I'd never seen it in the daylight. Uh-huh. Maybe that was a reveal that, that had been made before, but I completely missed that. You just assumed it was a big eggy. I, I did. Yeah. I really did. Uh, or just a wall that went up to the sky. I don't know. It doesn't matter. But anyway, so the weeks and weeks have been building up to this mysterious engineer that we're going to be seeing on the <laughs> outside of town and who it's going to be. And we ended up with someone called Major Goodner. Is who, she in Captain Marvel? I don't believe so. I, I don't. I Googled her. I couldn't find anything on it. Huh. But um, maybe she's somebody. There a is, regular person. Well, that's the thing. How dare they? This is the thing. It's not said specifically that she she is an engineer. I mean, she did bring a... You know, like a, an engineering heart. An engineering heart, whatever. So it's it probably is her, I guess. But there's theories that all those people are scrolls, and she's Talos's daughter, specifically oh, from Captain Marvel. Okay. So yeah, uh, and there's also theories that like John Krasinski might have brought that. Uh, sorry. That's not a joke, one folks. <laughs> that's that's part of the. That's not our one. All no, right? it's not. That he was the one who built that space rover thing. Ah, oh. I mean, looking at that space. I mean, it's got shielding. It does. Maybe later on, he'd be like, damn. They'll be out in their voyage, yeah, being attacked by cosmic rays. And exactly. They'll be like, damn, I wish I hadn't put all that shielding on that yeah. rover that got turned into an RV or whatever. Half what a waste. Hour. Yeah, yeah. Uh, a Ute, a, a, a truck. They call it in the US. Different places call it different things. We know cars, don't we? Yeah, we should. Sure That's do. good. That's why we know things. I, I did think that the suit, you know, could have been fantastic for esque the one that she wore underneath, which is oh. obviously nod to her. Uh, comic book counterpart Photon. A little bit. I yeah. was. I felt it was more like a, like a an extra on Star Trek: The Next Generation. Sure, but you know, those also those black and white Fantastic Four. Uh, the Future Foundation. Future Foundation. Says, yeah. There's a there's shades of that. But yeah. I might be reading into it a bit much. Well, that's what this is for. So yeah, exactly. If anything, you're not reading into it enough. You're right. What do are we even say? Doing another here? thing. Yeah, I will say another thing. Okay, so I put on the captions while they were going through. While she was going through the wall, giving uh-huh. her all sorts of superpowers. <laughs> pretty, pretty cool, I think. Very cool. So uh, we had uh, messages or, fl- sorry, flashbacks from Nick Fury, mm-hmm. uh, the voice of Samuel L. Jackson. Uh, we had Maria, her mother, and we had uh, Captain Marvel, Brie Larson, <gasps> ruining Star Wars. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> that was a joke from last week. Joke. But uh, we, there was something that came up last week. But, but yeah, she's just super powered now, right? Seems that way, yeah. Yeah, mm. she does a superhero landing. She's... That, well, that's the clearest sign, isn't it? Yeah, that's right. I, I mean, mean if, the she eyes... were, if she were normal like one of us, she would land, you know, on her yes. back and be like, oh, I'm out of this. Yeah, you're I'm right. leaving again. Yeah. This is, <laughs> oh, I'm never going to recover from this. This is quite tender mm. now that I think about it. But uh, I guess we should talk about the, the big reveal of this episode, and that is that Agnes, uh, she says her full name, it's, it's Agatha Harkness. She says it in the way that People we, say the audience, we, the audience, yeah. know... Who've already done the research, yes. and they know we would have done the research. Yes. She says it in a way that would be like, "The name's Agatha Harkness." Oh yeah, it's kind of it's kind of like the uh, the reveal of Khan from Star Trek Into Darkness, mm. where everybody in the room is like, "We don't know that." Yeah, mm-hmm. but you know, if it's it's for the audience, yeah. very much so. But I mean, that's appropriate in a show that is mm. all about TV tropes and big reveals. Totally. So. And it was mentioned, uh, I got a comment from uh, Ricky Lee Leonard who says, Agatha is the biggest twist that everyone saw coming. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. I, I, I mean, I'm which, not... which makes me think there's another twist coming. There, pro- another shoe to drop. If, yeah. Or several. Seven Some shoes. shoes to yeah. Drop, yeah. So, yeah, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not surprised, but I'm not disappointed. It's just like, yeah, it was leading towards this. And, of course, she's got a weird underground stone coven room with <laughs> multiple dimension doors and a special book, which we, I want to talk about also. Oh, do you know what the book is? I do know. I think I've got an idea what the book is. Is it the good book? The good, which book? There's a lot of good books. People consider the Da Vinci Code a good book. I was going to say the Da Vinci Code. <laughs> <laughs> it's the best book. Yeah. No, that's best book. Sorry. Yeah, you're right. So it's then we get a fun little number. Where we get a flashback to her in all in all all the episodes. She gets her own theme song. She gets, gets her own, own intro song, throughout yep. the various eras of the show. Yep, yep. Uh, we see that she's manipulating stuff. Uh, she kills the dog, which yep. a lot of people and maybe us. I know. I don't remember. Theorized at the time to see what would happen to kind of prompt a reaction mm-hmm. out of the children. Mm-hmm. Uh, speaking of, where are the kids now? <sighs> Another dimension. Or on an altar. No, we don't know yet. I mean, yeah. how far have we explored into that, that they might not, coven basement? They might not be real. They could be like weird demon kids. Mm-hmm. Do you think this is her end game to just lure, uh, wander down into the basement? I think she's going to be trying to, I think she's going to try siphoning powers. Mm-hmm. I think that's, you know, that's what people do. 
You know what I mean? The siphon each other's powers, sure, but yeah, then yeah. it's too much power. Yeah. Maybe you've triggered something in the other person that you can't contain. Yeah, yeah, Imagine yeah. an episode of Dragon Ball Z, but like the very final episode after a 300 run episode after, you know, then, then, then you defeat Sal at the end or whatever. Mm-hmm. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. You've never seen The Office. Yeah, that's <laughs> correct. <laughs> yeah, so I, that's what I think her main goal is. Um, here's another note from Collings. Go on. Here we go. I was this fresh, hot off the press. It's fresh as well. Uh, didn't she also rock a surprise turn in Into the Spider-Verse Doc Ock, even wearing hex glasses? That's an interesting little... I don't know whether that's a coincidence or a callback, but, yeah, she plays the version of Doc Ock from that particular movie. That is movie. true. Oh my that, was a big re- that was an evil reveal as well. It was an evil reveal. So the children, though, do you know? Do you notice at the start when the milk transformed, there was a missing boy on the back of... Uh, was it one of those boys? Like, it was too fuzzy. You couldn't really see. I don't think it was. But uh, she also mentioned that she did bite a kid once. So yes. do you think... Do you think she's one of the witches that, like, you know, like your Hansel and Gretel kind uh-huh. of a, a witch that's no? I just, children? I just think that was the absolute classic uh, modern family, the Office S yeah. joke. That, that, just an unexplained weird yeah. thing that someone says. Mm-hmm. Okay, fair enough. Uh, so, do you think she's turned the kids into like sandwiches or or bugs or a rabbit or an animal or something, or on a stone altar, as you mentioned, or a horse, or a horse? There's four legs. If you add them together. That's true. Uh, so they're in a horse costume? Is yes. that what you're saying? Okay, yeah, good. Yeah, gotcha. Yeah, 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 yeah. Leftover from the Halloween episode. Yeah. Uh, I think it's an alter situation. Yeah. Okay, yeah, 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 right. yeah. Okay. I think it might be the case of where maybe she created them or helped create them, but then they go they go rogue. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. Look, on my my Because aren't they demon kids in the They are they are something? they are fragments of I want to say Mephisto or maybe like one of Mephisto's kids. Okay, gotcha. Or, or some variation on Some variation things, on that. Yeah. But I, I wonder if they are going to be, because, you know, they have gone with the reveal of Agnes is Agatha Harkness, a character you all suspected she was. Yes. So I'm wondering if they are going to, like, are they going to reveal that Mephisto is is behind this all just like he was in the comics? Yeah. Or are they going to go with a different thing? Yeah. I was sort of expecting there to be a, a second Villain reveal in this. At this wasn't point. the last episode. You know no, that's that, right? true. Yeah. So okay. there's more episodes. There to are come. more episodes. Yeah. I was trying to think this week because we last week we t- we talked about well you can't just introduce new villains in the show and then just say oh they they were behind it all along and yeah they they're new but surprised they were behind this. Um. So I was trying to think of a character who was who's been in previous stuff who who hasn't had an arc completed. Sure. And I'm gonna go with Baron Mordo. Doctor Strange Strange. and Doctor Strange One, Doctor Doctor Strange One, and probably Doctor Strange. That's an interesting choice. Maybe, yeah, because there's there's rumors flying that uh, you know Strange is involved. We need. I mean, Strange is involved somehow. Uh, Magic Mm. uh, is 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 key to this. Yes. Uh, His goal by the end of Doctor Strange One was that he wanted to get rid of all the sorcerers. Yeah. Did he say no more sorcerers? I'm not sure. He said, no if more I magic, see one more fucking sorcerer. I will flip my <laughs> lid. It, well, I, th- I think he it said. It was that, something like that. Too many sorcerers. Yeah. Well, sorcerers which I, which is very similar whatever, to, yeah. to, to no more mutants, which yeah, is something sure, that. Yeah, sure, that, yeah. That's, that's interesting. Uh, I didn't Scarlet, which that. Said. Also, there is a character in this who is recurring uh, that we don't have an explanation for yet, and it's the delivery guy. Yeah, right. Well, it turns out this week works for Presto Delivery Services. Is that like um, that's a magic word? It's obviously. a magic word. Yeah, I, I did. I, I didn't. Yeah. That was one of those things where I'm like, I should rewind that, and I didn't. Ah. So I'm glad you caught that. Look, but yeah. I, I wonder be, because his goal was to get rid of all the sorcerers. Yeah. But if you're a sorcerer, how do you do that? There's one of them. There's yeah. one of you and a, and a bunch of them. But what if you engage the services of someone who can alter reality in yeah. a in a big hex that seems to be able to get bigger and bigger? Yeah. And could potentially engulf the entire world. And kills all the sorcerers and all, all the, the magic. Sorcerers. Benjamin Brack couldn't walk at the end of that movie. I know, right? I remember that. Uh, so I wanted to mention just quickly on the rabbit. I think it's called Mitch, Mr. Scratchy or something it is, like yeah. that. Mm-hmm. So Nicholas Scratch is uh, Agatha's son. Son, yeah. Mm-hmm. Which might, that just might be just a – he's also been in some Marvel TV recently. Was he in Hellstrom? I don't know. <laughs> okay. Uh, but I think <laughs> No one knows. That's, I think it would be too late in the game to be like, and this is my son. He was a rabbit. To be yeah, like, right. oh, right, I guess. Okay. Yeah. So you know, did you uh, did you stick around for the mid credits? I did because mm, a lot of people didn't. I've seen some comments that are like, "Where's what? Quicksilver?" Mm-hmm. And he was in the mid credits. He was in the mid credits. So I've got I've got a couple of theories on this. Right, go on. First of all, uh, Ralph gets a mention. She's like my husband, Ralph, or whatever. Uh-huh. He gets another mention. Could be the husband. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Maybe mm. maybe Ralph is Quicksilver. 
right? Yeah. yeah. Which also could mean he's Mephisto or Nightmare or Mordo or Doctor <laughs> Strange or just a guy from another dimension or nobody or somebody oh my God. or nothing or everything. Or John Krasinski. <laughs> we did it. Yeah. That's it. We put a cap on it. Okay. Till next week. That's right. So, yeah. But it's also seen that in her weird flashback thing that she manipulates the, the guy who's doing the hedge clippers yeah, uh-huh. and uses the same method to manipulate Quicksilver. Mm-hmm. It's all, there's also been a, a, a Funko Pop revealed of Quicksilver and it's, <laughs> and it's these ones. It's got inverted commas yes, over the top. Thank okay. you. I was going to say talking marks, but I'm like, that's not right. I it's quotey marks? Yeah, marks. Yeah, quotey marks. So, yeah. So it says Pietro Maximov. Oh. So as in like Pietro Maximov, <laughs> it's... which could be like, it's not him. Uh-huh. Or it is him, but it's not the one that you know. Is this the first Funko Pop box you've ever seen, though? Because maybe they all have. No, they don't. I okay. checked. I did some research, Mason. Uh-huh. But off the back of that. Yeah. So Funko the, Pop spoiling it again. Just always. Yeah. They put them into production too early, but you've got to get them out there for that's the collectors. Mm-hmm. Some people have too many of those. Wow. But that's okay. Yeah. Do what you want to do. No, Nobody out there that's watching this, though. You've all got the correct amount of Funko Exactly. Pops. But if you want more. That's Stop it. it. Oh. <laughs> so there's an ad for Nexus. Yes. Less ambiguous this week. So Lewis Copland uh, left this comment. The Nexus advert uh, must be a reference to the Nexus of all realities, an interdimensional gateway that acts as a crossroads to all realities. Oh. So, yeah. This is something I want to point out also, Lewis, that I also realised, but I want to <laughs> include people in it. You, wanted to, you wanted to credit one of the little people. I That's right. Exactly. Bring yeah. everybody into this. We're all working together. Mm-hmm. So... Do you think maybe that we see a number of doors in her underground lair? Mm-hmm. Do you think she's opening up doors to different realities or using Wanda to do that? Maybe she wants to. Yeah. Maybe Westview is the home of other... Big laughs. Yeah, it's not a big laughs, obviously. Mm, big horses. Big laughs and big stars. Maybe that is where that has always been located, but she doesn't have the power to, to right. open those gateways. Yeah, yeah. Mm. I, I think it might speak to her bringing Quicksilver over. Yeah, right. Uh, if it if it is the Quicksilver from another dimension, okay. or it's nobody or anybody, etc. Well, I mean, yeah. potentially, uh, you we could maybe speculate that in every episode, right, the Scarlet Witch activating her powers or, or utilizing them in a particular way has allowed maybe Agnes to to bring over various things. Yeah, okay. So yep, maybe yep, yep, yep. Quicksilver is just the most recent one. Okay, gotcha. And as as uh, Scarlet Witch's powers sort of continue to you know, grow and, and and overreact. Yeah. Maybe it's giving Agnes more power down there. Yeah, you know gotcha. I mean? Okay, yeah. Because mm. she's siphoning all the energy. Siphoning the what energy. What if it's too much energy? Th- then there'll be big trouble, won't there'll there? There'll be big trouble and lasers, no doubt. Uh, the other thing that uh, has been pointed out, and uh, so there's the book, right? There's a book down there. Mm-hmm, it's mm-hmm. a good book. So it's not the – okay. <laughs> so the Darkhold is what it probably right, is. Right, okay. a good chance it is. So for those who don't know – uh, we got this comment as well. It's from X-Men Comics HQ. It says, The book is a Nexus portal and Peter was brought into their reality because of it. The book was stolen from Doctor Strange while Endgame was taking place. The reason why Peter is there is because Ag- Agatha is either from the Fox universe or she needed someone that was Quicksilver to fill in that gap. That's the last thing we need, someone from the Fox universe. <laughs> <laughs> what about what if it's what she's if gonna it's, bring she's gonna come in here she's gonna bring her trains in her that, flipping trains we could get the gambit movie oh god <laughs> can you imagine oh she's gonna bring in her deadpools but not the good deadpools oh the, the bad, bad deadpools. One. Oh no yeah. i don't want that yeah so the dark hold also known as the book of sins or oh, book of spells an ancient book of spells and unspeakable power the book is made of dark matter from the hell dimension so, again, speaks to, like, maybe the kids are from hell or something. Sure, yeah. Yeah, so that's interesting, being from hell, I think. Yeah. <laughs> Got this comment from uh, Nick during the week on Twitter, though. Me? No, different Nick. Huh. Um, he's the other one. Okay. Uh, so I just realised at the end, of, uh, the Quicksilver, the episode of Quicksilver mentioned that there's no way that your dead husband dies again. However, earlier in the episode he says all that he remembers is he got shot, then woke up in the dome. Uh, how would he know Vision died? He exposed himself. <gasps> so, yeah, maybe that's somebody working through him, you know, or he's or he's not who 
he appears. Well, he's not who he appears. We're going to look quite the fools if it's revealed at the end that nobody was working through anybody. I think because... everybody's working through everybody, Mason, <laughs> all right. at all times. All right. I think we're going to look great, actually. Yeah, we're going yeah, to come out of this spotless. Yeah. So I got another note from Collings just now. Whoa. He's firing on all cylinders. How many times have you watched this episode, Collings? How many? Well, he's got to edit, so he's, he's going through so many clips. That's true. He says, uh, Monica's eyes turn purple after opening the trap door and looking at Quicksilver. Like, is so he really there? So this is a there? reference to the TV series Trap Door. Exactly. Don't, Don't you, you open, open that, that trap door. door. You're a fool if you did, etc. So forth. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but it's claymation or something. Yes. So when she's kind of looking at things and, you know, there's like that weird reality sheen on it, you mm-hmm. know, the eyes kind of like yeah, fire yeah, up yeah, a little yeah. bit. So, yeah, I don't think he's, I don't know, do you think he's a villain? I was going to say I don't think he's a villain, but I don't know. Quicksilver. Yeah. I think he's going to do some helping. Ah. Uh... Because he's like, what are you up to? Let's, okay, help. Right. Let's help each other. Okay. This think, may not be my sister, mm, my real sister. See, when, but... see, my my initial reaction to that was that's a that's a henchman that's a henchman line to me. Yeah, okay. I think he's going to bring her down in the basement. Yeah, because she's not fully in control of her powers yet. It seems mm. she can do them superhero landings. Yeah, but thus far very little else. So, do you, do you think we're going to get a cool as slow motion Quicksilver scene like in uh, X Men Days Ooh, of Future? I hope Park? so. Yeah. And then maybe a, a version that's not as good, like in the second X Men movie he was yeah, in. Yeah, Remember yeah, that? yeah. I got something interesting to kind of um, end, end this on. Please, uh, Paul Bettany spoke to Esquire this week. You know, oh, the, yeah. it's a very fancy publication. It's exactly for, for for the finest of gentlemen. Mm, fine wines and cheeses. I don't know what they do there, but uh, <laughs> there's there was a video interview where he went through a number of theories and he kind of talked about his career and he mentioned how like. A producer was like, you're never going to work in this town again. And then he got the call like immediately after from Joss Whedon and was like, we need to paint you purple or red, whatever people see mm-hmm. uh, for this movie. And he was like, yeah, I'm the best or whatever. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. Anyway, they asked him about uh, like various theories. Okay. And he suggested that Benedict Cumberbatch uh, won't be dropping by as Doctor Strange, but did say that the big reveal, this character that he's been talking about, that he's looking forward to working with, wasn't... Pietro, so it wasn't Evan Peters as okay. Quicksilver. Okay. So there is somebody else coming. He says that there's a lot of things have been like re- revealed or spoiled or people have figured mm-hmm. it out, but this is one thing uh, and someone who he's longed to work with his whole life. And I love that idea. of His ben- whole life? His whole life. Wow. Ever since he was a bub, which makes me think like Ian McKellen. Could be, uh, yeah. You know, or something mm-hmm. because there's been talk of that or, you know, the other version of the younger um, Magneto or Professor Fast X. Bender, yeah. Uh-huh. But when you said Baron Mordo, uh-huh. I'm thinking, okay, he's Should, a British man, isn't he? Yeah. So uh-huh. I, hadn't, I hadn't considered Again, that. Again, they've probably been in a pantomime together. but No doubt. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, I, I like this idea of it being Baron Mordo. I'm not sure if you're on anything other than hardcore drugs. <laughs> but so I just think from here on out, mm-hmm. It's just going to be shooting lasers at each other all the time, or at least in the last episode, right? There's two left. I think so. I th- Look, I think... We're I going think, full Marvel movie? Yeah, look, I think episode eight is going to be... There's going to be a significant exposition dump, mm. and then lasers all the way. Lasers all the way, baby. Yeah. It's going to be so many lasers being shot at each other. Purple lasers, red lasers, the Visions laser, whatever color that is. Wazers, which Wazers. is the specific type of laser that a witch shoots. Oh, I didn't know yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's more yeah. magic-y than science Yeah, cool. Okay, that makes yeah. a lot of sense to me. So, yeah, that's pretty much everything that we've got here today. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, now, if people were wondering. You're very welcome. Yeah, thank you for being here. Well, these actually go up early, the audio episodes at bigsandwich.co. That's right. Where we do a bunch of other stuff, including uh, there's an ad-free feed of our podcast, The Weekly Planet which comes out every Monday. There's other podcasts we do. We do one on clickbait. We do one on a time capsule where we pick particular points in time of pop culture. We talk about them, don't we, Mason? That's exactly right. We do a comic book club and we do movie commentaries. We've done a lot of the Marvel and DC stuff. Maybe all, but maybe not. We recently did Thor, didn't we? We had a great time. Speaking of Darcy. Dr. Darcy now. Dr. Darcy now. But To you, sir. A mere grad student or something. (laughs) that That was actually interesting to go back to because... It's so quaint comparatively to where we are now. There's barely a hundred things happening at once in <laughs> Thor. But then Ragnarok is so so much yeah. more. And even if you look, if you watch Thor and then you jump to this, mm. like there's this so, video that we're making. Yeah, right well, now. Yeah, yeah, or yeah. I just even like this show or episode, you'd be like, I've missed some things here, haven't I? Mm-hmm. <laughs> some yeah. stuff has happened in between these episodes. For, for starters. What's John Krasinski doing What's he here? Doing here? Whoa. You brought him back. I did. It's you true. made it work. Are you going to say you made it worse? <laughs> we did make it make it worse, yeah. but it was never going to get better. No. Yeah. Uh, but anyway, thanks for watching. I'm at Mr. Sunday Movies on Twitter. I'm at Wikipedia Brown on Twitter. Leave your theories, thoughts below. Uh, if you do hear any of the leaks, which I think all the leaks are now being kind of 
plugged at this point. Everything that had been leaked was up to this episode. Uh, but if there's anything own. extra, uh, don't post it in the comments because people will probably not like that very much. By people you mean us? Yeah, sure. I mean, yeah, whatever. But also <laughs> others. Yes. And we can't reply to like leak stuff on Twitter because... Then everybody then sees, everybody yeah. It, so, we, so apologies for that. But thanks again to Collins for editing this. Thank you See very you much. next week. Get get hyped, Mason. I'm getting for episode hyped. Episode eights and nines, and maybe a secret episode. Oh, we probably gotta, not though. Probably not though. Let's hype it up though. Let's hype it up. Let's say episode ten is the secret aerospace engineer of this show. Oh my goodness! Can't wait for it. Me neither. I'm building building those expectations. Me too. All right, grab that jam, you guys. We'll see you next week. Goodbye. Bye. 